like a thousand little knives poking me in my body. Now at 11, we're hearing tonight from one of the men who survived an attack by as many as 100,000 killer bees. Good evening. I'm Jameson Euler. And good evening. I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. That attack sent two men to the hospital. Our Chris Trankman spoke to one of those guys tonight. He joins us live from Picnic Island Park in Tampa with more. Chris? Well, the two park employees were operating a front end loader, uh, removing some garbage in the park when they happened upon this hive. When they went to remove the trash, they literally spilled the bees. My ears and right here is just throbbing with pain. It's the worst feeling because it just had so many and it wouldn't stop. This was the nightmare Rodney Pugh and his co-workers stumbled into, and they paid the price in bee stings. What did that feel like? Oh, uh, like a thousand little knives poking me in my body. The 41-year-old says medical staff removed more than 60 stingers from his back and neck. His partner had more than 100. They were removing a pile of trash from Picnic Island Park when they lifted an old tire that happened to be the hive of killer bees. I'm trying to squat, and they say never squat bees. So they was all in my face, on my back, and on my shirt. So I jumped out of the payload and ran for my office. Because these were Africanized bees, they were relentless, chasing Pew 75 feet down the road. They were aggressive. They was like nonstop. And even when we got to the office, there was like a little swarm by the office. Jonathan Simpkins with Insect IQ is called in to destroy the hive, but because of their aggressive nature, he says this will hardly be his last encounter with killer bees. This pile of rubbish wasn't moved for three years. So this colony's been here and breeding and sending out colonies. The European bee will swarm once or twice a year. The African up to 17 times. And we're right near Port Tampa. Insect IQ tells me they believe these bees came from another country, possibly South America or Africa, on board some of the port ships. Now, what makes these bees so dangerous is that they're very similar to regular honeybees. So if you happen to stumble upon a hive, you need to be extra careful because if you disturb them before an exterminator comes out, they will attack. We're live in Tampa. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.